After three tornadoes ripped through the town of Alto, a group of men are working to make sure Alto ISD students have what they need to finish out the rest of their school year. The Morning Loop's Monica Ortiz joins us live in Alto with how they're helping during this time of rebuilding. Good morning, Monica. Good morning, JJ. Yeah, I'm at the Hilltop Baptist Church in Alto. You can get kind of a better look behind me. There's a feeding trailer. A lot of the equipment in there, a lot of similar equipment is going to be sent over to Alto ISD's campus where there was damage to the school's cafeteria that feeds elementary students through high school students. That'll be the Texas Baptist men that's taking that equipment over there. I'm joined now by Rand Jenkins. Um, what went into the decision to help out and feed these students? Yeah. Well, we'd been working here for about a week after the tornadoes and came across this idea, uh, this need that they have of their their cafeteria in the high school was demo demolished pretty much and so they need this food uh, almost 90 percent of the students in the elementary through high school are on the free and reduced lunch program and so us being able to come in and help provide the equipment for the kitchen staff to feed the kids is highly important and this is being called a field kitchen. How exactly is this going to be set up? <laughs> um, what we do, we take 20 by 40 tents, and inside of there we put tilt skillets, convection ovens, warming ovens, um, boiling kettles, thing industrial size that the kitchen staff is used to using, so the learning curve is really easy. So they're, easy, they're able to then go and prepare the meals that they normally do, just outside in a tent as opposed to inside in their normal cafeteria setting. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rand. And they're going to take this over to Alto ISD's campus today and train those kitchen workers on campus. And then tomorrow they're going to go ahead and already use those appliances and the field kitchen to feed the Alto ISD students.